Hey everybody, it's Martha, and it has been a while since I've been back in the studio. I'm happy to be here. Um, so it has also been a while since I've done a top five video on something, so here we have it. My top five anime Ted husbands. Because I do not just watch anime, oh no, I am an animation nerd of all types. Uh, so we got a few Western animation guys thrown in there for a little spice. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to my first anime husband ever, Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. My six-year-old self was super in love with him, so like, props to you, Ash Ketchum. Props to you. Anyway, after this shout out, let's go ahead and get the rest started. Number five on my list from Oron High School Host Club, Otori Kyoya, the vice president of the host club. Now, Tamaki was all flamboyance and fun and craziness, but like, I don't know, I always liked the the quiet, bespectacled types in anime. He's also, he's also a little bit crazy, a little bit sadistic, and like in real life, no, but like, in the context of the host club, I am all over it. Like, dude's got money, dude is smart, dude is in a position of power. I am all into those things, not to mention he is hella attractive. So any other Kyoya fans, hey, let me know in the comments below. Number four on my list, I don't think I would actually marry him, but like, he's my husbando, and that is Sebastian from Black Butler. Of course, like, if you watch anime and you like men in any way, shape, or form, and you're not a slut for Sebastian, you are wrong. You are so wrong. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's, he's suave, and he's efficient, and he's, he's, he, he, he's Sebastian. I don't, I don't know how else to describe him, you know? And he is like one of, he has become a classic character that even people outside of the anime community, oh, the butler, yeah, I know him. Like, he, he has become one of those cult favorites. And Sebastian started my love for voice actor Ono Daisuke. Mmm, that voice. Anything he's in, I'm watching. And it all started with Sebastian, so it's his fault. Number three, this is where the uh, Western influence comes in. Calderam, aka Aqualad from Young Justice. Now, I know Calderam is also included in the comics, but I have not read the Aquaman comics or any of the Young Justice comics. I have my, most of my DC knowledge comes from TV shows just because they're all on Netflix and I'm like, yo, cartoon. I'm a huge DC nerd, movies, TV shows, I'm all about it. Uh, and I'm starting to delve into the comic books a bit more. So Calderam is the leader of Young Justice. So the show came out when I was a senior in high school and Calderam, uh, Aqualad and I were about the same age. So like, I saw the show and I was like, ooh, yes. Like not only is he attractive, but he is a good leader. He's kind, he's wise, uh, you know, for a teenager. He's, you know, he's, he's got a pretty good head on his shoulders. And like, I don't know, it's just his compassion and caring and like level-headedness in like situations of peril. Like, he is, his personality is also very attractive and his voice, God, I had to look up the voice actor. I forget his name now, obviously, cause you know, I'm a terrible YouTuber, but um, his voice actor, oh boy, that voice though, it's so good. Uh, if there are any other Young Justice fans, let me know in the comments below. Are you excited for season three? Cause I am. Anyway, let's compose myself. Aqualad love. If you also love any of the other members of Young Justice, let me know in the comments below. Number two on my list is Himura Kenshin from Rurouni Kenshin. Kenshin is a little cinnamon roll and he needs to be protected, but also he can protect you because he can like, honestly, he can kill people with a reversed edge sword. And if that doesn't scream badass, I don't know what does. But honestly, Ken Kenshin can cook, he can clean, he can fight, and he's just cute. He's cute. He's 
cute. I love him. I love Kenshin. So my friend Lillian was like, yo girl, you should watch Rooney Kenshin on Netflix because it's great. And I'd heard a lot about it and I was like, oh, okay, fine. Man, I just, like, when I had the flu in January, like, I had been watching it, like, November and December of last year, but, like, it, an arc had ended and I wasn't ready to start the second arc, and so I started the second, like, the Kyoto arc in January, and I just, I was sitting there, like, like, screaming, even though I had the flu, because Kenshin makes me feel so many things. Oh, I just, I just, I have so many feelings for Kenshin. It's hard to articulate. I just, like Kenshin is like one of those anime characters that's like perfect, but not in an annoying way. Compassionate, brave, honorable, funny, like, I don't know, like clumsy in a cute way. Like, you know, not clumsy on the battlefield, but like the oru, like that thing, that kills me. I love it, I love it so much. I could go on and on about how much I love Kenshin. Um, you know, I considered putting Sanosuke on this list, also from Rurouni Kenshin, but Sanosuke is more like my dumb son than my husband. Number one on my list, another Western one, surprisingly, but if you really know me, you're not surprised. Number one on my list, Batman, not Bruce Wayne, Batman. I mean, I know they're the same person, but I don't want that like bullshit playboy persona that Bruce Wayne will put on in public. I want the Batman because like his sense of justice really appeals to me. I want to say he's like, because he's like lawful, but he's Dude is kind of like, he's not, mm, his alignment is hard. I want to say he's lawful neutral, but like, dude will do anything to get justice done. So like, he's either lawful neutral or chaotic good. Like, I can't decide between the two. He has no powers, no supernatural bullshit. He's a normal dude with a lot of money and he chose to use his money on like, saving people and like, building awesome toys. I don't care if y'all say they're weapons, it's they're fucking toys. His utility belt, full of toys. Batmobile, toy. Batcave, man cave. Like, dude, like he's a giant kid with adult money, but he's also like really dark and brooding. And as y'all know, in my like imaginary, like dating life, like, <laughs> I mean my real dating life is also imaginary right now, but in my like 2D dating life, if that's a thing, I like the dark brooding types and Batman fits that to a fucking T. Um, also, Bruce Wayne is fine. Like, I mean, usually I don't go for the super buff dudes, but like, dude's got a nice face and the voice is good. Not the Batman voice like this. No, that's not sexy. That's not sexy at all. But I fangirl over it just the same. But the, the his normal voice, like, the actor who voiced him in Batman the Animated Series and in the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited shows, like, that voice. I like that. That's good. I wouldn't mind waking up to that in the morning. I mean, who wouldn't want to wake up to Batman in the morning? Well, maybe, like, <laughs> the Joker. Or, you know, or maybe he would, you know, according to the new Lego Batman movie canon. But, <laughs> anyway, no. I'm just, I'm a big Batman fangirl. Anything Batman, I am all over. Like, if you want to be my friend, just be like, Martha, Batman. And I'm like, yay, Batman! Like, it's... <sighs> I mean, you look at me and you wouldn't expect such Batman feels, but like, Bat feels. All oh, the Bat feels, even though he's like, I'm emotionless and me, 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 and I'm like, no, you're fucking not. No, you're fucking not. You are a ball of angst. You are a ball of emotions. And like, come here, come here. Ooh, let's hug it out. Hug it out, Batman. Oh man, Bat feels, guys. Anyway. This took way too long. This was entirely too long. I meant this to be a short video. My top fives are supposed to be short. <laughs> Those are my choices for my top five animated husbands. If uh, y'all think I left somebody important out, let me know in the comments below. Who are your animated husbands? Who's your fave? Who's your husbando? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe, hit that red button down below for a new video every Wednesday and sometimes on Saturdays. Oh God, 
You can also find me on social media at Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Snapchat at Omar Coleman. Facebook.com slash Omar Coleman and on my website and blog, MarthaColeman.com. Thank you again for watching. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!